What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Juan TV, and I am back with another video. Before we get into today's video, make sure you like this video, follow your boy on IG, make sure you follow your boy on TikTok, and make sure you most importantly subscribe to the channel. All right, y'all. So today's video, we can get into my recent pickups. I do have them all over here. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, you feel me? Uh, really ain't got that much to say. You know what I'm saying? Actually, I do. I finally hit 3,500 subscribers, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead, clap it up for the kid. We're still on the road to 10K, you know what I mean? Let's go ahead and get to it. But yeah, go ahead and get into the video. All right, so we're gonna start with the pieces up top. It is a couple Supreme pieces. I'm not the biggest Supreme head, but it dropped their fall winter collection. They actually dropped some stuff to get it today. I thought some of the pieces was hard, but for me, it's like, I don't like spending a certain amount of money on certain pieces, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's hard for me to engage in, in the Supreme stuff, you know what I mean? But, and I'm more of like a simple guy. Like Supreme be having, you know, some crazy pieces. I like simple stuff, so. It is what it is. But these two right here, very regular dagger. Very what? Very regular degular. It's just two Supreme beanies. Got the, the black with the white Supreme, and then we have the red with the white Supreme. It's just very simple. You know what I mean? I wear red very often. I wear black very often. So I was like, I might as well get both of them. And then to go with the beanies, we got the white tee with the small box logo Supreme. And we also got the black tee with the small box logo. Um, these do run pretty oversized. Like I did wash the white one. I might show y'all how it look on body, but I did wash the white one. I was scared to wash the black one because I feel like it would um, it would fade. But yeah, I washed the black one, washed and dried it, and it did shrink down a good size to where I wanted it to fit. I'm just not gonna do that with the black one simply because I'm scared it's gonna fade and it's lose color. So I'm not just gonna rock it how it is. It is what it is. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the first Supreme pieces. Like I said, I'm very simple. I don't really, you know what I'm saying, indulge in Supreme that often. But when I do, it's gonna be something simple, you know what I mean? So yeah, you feel me. The next one actually I wanna do last. So let's grab this one. This is a shoe I had to go back and get. I did sell it, I think, last year, maybe two years ago, and I kind of regretted it. Um, I don't really know why I sold it. I can't even remember why, but yeah, very dope shoe, classic shoe in my opinion. Box label reads, Air Jordan 4 Retro, colorway is cool gray, chrome, dark charcoal, you know what I'm saying? Most of y'all know what this shoe is, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead, pop the lid on these joints right here. And we do have a used but very crispy pair of cool gray fours. These joints is too hard, too tough. Like, like I said, I can't even remember why I got rid of these. I really like this shoe. This shoe is so fire to me. All over gray, the chrome hit on the back. These are just nice. Like I said, I don't remember why I got rid of these, but you know what I'm saying? I got I found them on eBay for 200 I offered the seller 180 he accepted you know what i'm saying so you feel me these right here is fire like i truly cannot remember why i sold this shoe these are too tough these are crazy cool gray fours you know what i mean y'all let me know if y'all still have y'all 2019 pair of cool gray fours or if you're og you get the 2004 pair y'all also let me know but yeah this is just a dope clean shoe it's black white and gray for the most part got the little hints of yellow back there on the tongue and then also on the bottom but other than that the black and gray shoe goes with pretty much everything and yeah very very dope very fire very happy to have these back in the collection uh yeah these are nice like um yeah yeah cool gray for stay back in the collection you feel me and right here, the last shoe I wanted to talk about simply because it just came out. And I was actually really excited for this shoe. So this shoe right here, y'all know the box. Box Able Reads, Air Jordan 1, Retro Low OG. Colorway is Sail, Black, and Dark 
Mocha. This box is fire, by the way. All black with the brown Nike logo. Fire. Popping these joints open, busting the paper out. And right here, we have the Mocha Air Jordan 1 Lows. These right here is fire. As y'all know, I did have the Jordan 1 Mocha Highs. But unfortunately, I had to get rid of them to get my Travis Scott Mocha Highs. But since I got rid of those, I knew I was going to get these just because I didn't have the highs anymore. I really, really like the highs. This might be better as a low, to be honest. I, I really, really like this colorway on the low. It's a budget Travis Scott. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. But at the end of the day, these are fire. I would actually prefer these over the OG Mocha Travis Scott's. I know most of y'all ain't going to agree with that, but it is what it is. I'm not the biggest fan of that shoe. But these right here is fire. These is hard. They do not come with the cell laces. I was pretty disappointed about that, to be honest. But it is what it is. I just went and bought a pair of cell laces. They just come standard with black with no extra laces. But, you know, it is what it is. These joints is hard. When I say hard, I mean hard. Like the black toe with the brown in the back. The same exact as the highs, except for on the tongue. On the tongue, it is white instead of that brown Nike Air. But other than that, it's the same exact shoe. Even the leather quality, it's just nice. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna go too into detail on these because I will be dropping a review on these right after this video. So, yeah. I just want to show y'all real quick the Jordan 1 Mocha Lows. Y'all let me know what y'all thinking, you feel me? And I will get a review out probably maybe this weekend. I'm not sure. But, yeah. All right, y'all. That's everything I picked up in the past couple of weeks. Y'all let me know what y'all think about my pickups. Like I said, a review on these is coming very soon. I'm going to try to get it out this weekend. If I can't get it out this weekend, it will be out on Monday. But, yeah. Um, I wanted to also bring up the Ama Minier Jordan 4, that shoe is incredibly tough. That shoe is hard. I was going to cop when they dropped on Ama Minier's website, but I decided to get the Mocha things instead because I know I'm going to get wears out of these. The Ama Minier 4s, I feel like it's gonna be a hard wear. It just, the purple color or violet or whatever color it's called, burgundy, I feel like that's just a hard color to wear, especially for me. The same thing with the first I'm on your Jordan 4. It's just like, I'm going to wear that shoe maybe like once every two years, once a year at the most. It's like, not really what I'm trying to do. So, you know what I'm saying? I went ahead and got the mochas because I knew that I'm actually going to put these on feet and rock these joints. You know what I'm saying? But the I'm on your Fours is hard. Also, the Travis Scott Medium Olives. I need those. Like, I'm entering every raffle possible to get those. And I think there's a five shoe, especially with the pink laces. The pink laces on those go crazy. I have seen a couple people saying that, you know, that's not the move. Why they do pink laces? They should have did cream laces or whatever. But them pink laces and them olives go hard. But yeah, the medium olives, Travis's, I'm really, really hoping that I hit those. Hopefully, I'm going to be giving y'all a review in a couple weeks. If not, it is what it is. I'm probably going to have to trade some stuff to get that shoe because I'm going to get it regardless. But, um... Yeah, because the resale prices on those is actually pretty low. It's around like 400 right now for my size anyway. So, yeah, and that's still early. So, I think they're going to settle at like 320 to 350 I think that's like a comfortable price for your boy. But, yeah. Anyway, back on track. That's pretty much all that I picked up. You know, a couple of Supreme pieces, the Mocha's, the Cool Gray 4s. Um, yeah, like I said, the Cool Gray 4s, I really don't know why I sold them. I can't even think about why I sold them. But I'm happy to have them back. And Mocha Lows, like I said, I had to get rid of my Mocha Highs just to get my Travis Scott Highs. So I knew I was going to grab these regardless. Then a couple of Supreme pieces. Like I said, when I cop Supreme, it's very minimal. It's not loud. I'm not a loud person, you know what I'm saying? When I put stuff on, it's very muted. It's very quiet. I like to be low-key. I don't like to be all over the place. You know what I mean? So, yeah. That's pretty much all I got for this video. If you like this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that good shit, all that hot shit. It's your boy Juan TV on the road to 10K subscribers. And I'm gone. Yeti.